Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we'll discuss another command that we can use in a script to talk through the operating system after we install. And we will use a delete command to uh, remove uh, something from something that it's pinned to the taskbar, right? Uh, we will use for our example the Windows Media, Media Player shortcut that it's pinned to the taskbar. Okay, first of all, we need to create a command that works under any user, right? So you can you can create a bad file that runs at login. Um, so if the shortcut exists to be deleted, or a, uh, a bad file that you can run only once on all the computers using psexec or any other uh, replication program you have. So for that, for that to be able to be run by any user or under any user, you need to use a wildcard, right? So we're gonna use a wildcard called username. That um. So let's see if you do um equal username for example actually I'm sorry it will be equal username ready there you go it's gonna return my username right so if you do a delete command that contains so let's say instead of the username you do C users and the wildcard your username this is going to be replaced by the logged in username so whatever user is logged in this wildcard right here is going to be replaced by that username so this way you can perform this action regardless for all the users regardless what user logs in right so now Let's uh, let's find the location of this shortcut right here. So the location should be um, on the C drive in users. Let's, uh, I'm gonna take my username. Um, should be in application data at data roaming um, Microsoft. I think yeah, Microsoft right here. Internet Explorer. Quick launch, user pinned, taskbar. There it is. Right, so you can delete any one of them, but we, we chose this one as an example. So we can actually copy this from here so we don't have to write again. And we basically should say it's username, double click paste. It's username and data roaming. Uh, Microsoft Internet Explorer quick launch user pin taskbar that actually looks right and the name of the shortcut is Windows Media Player it's gonna be Windows Media Player and it's a shortcut so it's gonna be dot LMK right. there you go it went through now, if you're gonna try to start media player from here, you can see that you know, it's gonna say it's been removed, right? The next time you, you log in, this is actually not going to show anymore. So um, when you log in the first time, this is not gonna show, right? So this is the command. You can integrate it in a bath file with the commands we already presented. And uh, actually at the end of this uh, channel where we present enough commands, we can actually put them together in a, in a bath file and run them. You're gonna find this command as a comment on um, on this video, so you can actually um, copy and paste it and use it wherever you like. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos, and don't forget to check out our blog, Watermark, to the bottom of the video. Thank you.